Hey guys, Logan, we're up to Season 4, Episode 9. Bones, don't mind this. I'm losing my mind right now. Here we go. <laughs> What's it for? Cadet Williams, tear gas! That's right. That! It's not just for tear gas, but whatever. Boys took it three days ago. I'm gonna demonstrate for you why we don't fire tear gas into a meth lab. It'll blow up. <laughs> That looks like a zombie. We're gonna need a... <laughs> hey, <laughs> sorry I'm late. <laughs> ah, the big Rico case that I'm not supposed to know anything about. Why don't I know about this case? Oh, it's top secret. But you told Dr. Brennan. She's my partner, okay? Indictments, any minute. She's I'll buy your partner. Rays, possible parade, and most definitely my face on a coin. Jared. Oh, God, give me that. This is brother. Who says a brother? What? Sounds good, I'll see you then. Okay, that's enough for today, because obviously you have to go look at some horribly dismembered human remains. We know where the rest Y'all didn't of check the yes, place so before you there, blew the it up. There and the arm is over there. Would you be all upset if I had a little quiet? Yeah, take your time. That's, wait, that's your brother? What's that there? Wait, no, it's inside not. Of the pocket. A Bible? It was obviously oh. some kind of technical designer or engineer. Squint, huh? On your own. Oh, I think that was an adventure. <coughs> Clark, hey. Oh, God, here we go. I liked him the most. Came back, huh? No, I said my preferred working style tends towards the professional. See my tie? That's an indicator. Mm hmm. So why'd you come back then? Is there a name on that letter? No. There's a patent application number. We can find out and file it. Coleoptera just started feeding on the diptera larva, meaning our victim died about three days ago. Oh, yeah. Ew. Camille? Jarhead! <laughs> Jarhead? Jarhead? That's him? Room, some lieutenant commander in the Navy. This here is my partner, Dr. Temperance Brennan. That back there is a squint. Bones, this is my... <laughs> Bones, Dr. Brennan. Your facial structure is... Even more symmetrical than Booth's. She coming down to me? No, it's just the way she talks. <laughs> Cam, Jared has a favor he'd like to. I can ask my own favors. Hey, go ahead. There's a cocktail party tonight. I'm in need of a beautiful woman on my arm, preferably very smart. Well, I'm quite intelligent. No, oh. God, it's not that you're not intelligent. I mean, you are intelligent. I would be delighted. I got a head on a patent application. It's filed by somebody named Paul Stanley. Not that one. Address there. Not that oh. one. Okay, and Jared, uh, Bones and I have four. Okay, how did they get yeah, your no name? I will, uh, and they Jared named him Jared. Okay. That uh, was very nice. Of <laughs> completely different names. Are you thinking of leaving lesbianism behind? I prefer not to be labeled, okay? Well, since you were last here, Angela ran into her ex girlfriend, who's now her ex ex girlfriend. <laughs> The only ex I care about are ex rays. <laughs> I apologize for the pun. Yeah, don't give up your day job, kid. Okay, Bones, what do you say we go solve a murder, huh? Come on. Oh, that's, that was good. That matches the description of my father. Was the um, victim wearing a blue windbreaker with yellow piping? Was that guy in Criminal Minds? Was he drunk? He used to go on binges. Father wrapped his car around a tree, drunk driving. Paul was injured, and so was his mom. He broke both his legs, but as soon as he got crutches, he was gone. How did he find you again? Wanted to reconnect, so we invited him to stay with us. Did your father have any run-ins recently? Inventors? Was my father murdered? Your dad said he caught Mike taking something from your workshop. We loan each other tools all the time. I mean, I, I bet Dad just didn't understand that. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need my. Did you kill Dad? I didn't borrow anything. Well then, Mr. Campbell, what were you doing at uh, Stegman House? Ooh. I went to confront his dad. I like to do a little off-track betting, making predictions based on statistical models. Clears my head. Makes complete sense. Yeah. So uh, that day, I go in, and there's Paul's dad. Okay. <laughs> He's placing <laughs> bets and taking hits off of a flask. The old geezer slammed me against the wall. The old geezer. Told me my own business. So then you left. What? <laughs> I haven't heard that they phrase in a while. So I... This grating could have caused the damage to Jim's face. Uh-oh. Clark has everything under control, so I could go. What? <laughs> really? Huh? 
Thank you. No. Girl. Oh, uh, well, 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 wait, this is Bones, right? Not some ugly FBI woman with a mustache. I don't have a mustache, Jared. Seely, would you mind? Hmm? No, why would I mind? It's all right. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to hide it. Mm-hmm. Dude. You can't do that. Stand up. Come on. Yes, I mind. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Uh, nothing, nothing, Dr. Burnham. I just uh, didn't know that you were so... <clears throat> uh, the victim was <laughs> supposed to be a long-term heavy drinker, yet his bones show no signs of alcoholic osteoporosis. There's no damage to the cancel oh, structure of the lung bones either. Furthermore, he was supposed to have broken his legs in a car accident approximately 25 years ago. There's no signs of remodeling. No, uh -uh. his legs were never broken. We misidentified the victim. He is not Paul Segman's father. Have we done that before? I don't think we have. They listen to you when you speak. You wanna know the secret? You have an incredibly beautiful, incredibly intelligent scientist slash novelist sitting alone waiting for you to bring her a drink. I don't like this. <laughs> I cannot help but run that ridge. Can you give me an example? I bet you Seeley never took that risk. Nope. <laughs> Have a good night? Yes. So far. I don't like this. That's weird. <laughs> I found a match for our victim's DNA on the database. I know they're not database. together, but... <laughs> Did she bone shit this morning? No, I think she and Jared had a late night. Open the attachment I just sent you. You know, Bones never gets in this late. You were the one who said you didn't mind them going out together. <sighs> Bye. I'm here about the meth lab body. Okay. Yeah, it's extremely embarrassing for the state police and the superintendent, the governor, various movers and shakers would look kindly on it if you, well, if you simply neglected to give that small detail to the press. And if the press digs up that the bodies were burned and blown into several pieces, it makes the FBI look sneaky. I'll tell you what, why don't we just tell the truth and take our lumps when we have to. I haven't been to sleep. Can I offer you a little insight? You haven't been to sleep? Brother? Oh God, why am I always saying <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you. him so much. Because he's Booth's little brother and it would just be a creepy way to have sex with a Booth without having sex with the real Booth. Kudos, Angela. I would not have had the guts to say that aloud. Uh, Jared is a real Booth. Mm. Jared's Booth light. Booth is the real Booth. Well, what if Booth is Booth light? Angela found the real Jim Stegman. Looks like a drowning victim. Only if he drowned after being shot in the heart. How did you find it? The real Jim Stegman has DNA on file stemming from an assault charge 12 years ago. Wait, so... I made a search and this popped up. He's been in John Doe right here in the Jeffersonian since last week. And what? At Anna Costa Naval Station, last known address, Bowie, Maryland. Well, this is Jim Stegman's place. One of these is made out to Anthony Pongetti. Pongetti? Real Jim Stegman, he was shot and killed and dumped in the river a week ago. Pongetti shot and killed four days ago. After pretending to be Jim Stegman. It sounds like maybe Pongetti killed Jim and then committed the, the whatchamacallit, identity theft. Yeah, uh, thanks, Bones. You know what? I gotta get you back to the lab. Okay? Where's that? Thanks. What? Uh, what do you mean he's in trouble? Cool. Is this one of Stegman's adventures? Yeah, it's a garbage sorter. And thanks to Clark, That's pretty it cool. works. The grading you got from Mike Campbell was not the weapon used to strike Anthony Pongetti in the face. <laughs> Zygomatic bones were fractured. A rather malleable magnesium alloy. So for it to cause that much damage... Yes, that would have, have been bent from the impact. Yes. So what we're looking for is something heavier. What? You all right? Yeah, yeah. See, I fell asleep at the wheel. I'm okay. Are you yeah. drinking? Local trooper here says he knows you. Agent Booth. Gonna wall check. They get me for DUI. I lose my jobs here. I mean, I lose my whole career. Shut up. 
Shut up. You freaking moron. What did this man want from us? We think it's Probably possible inventions. that he wanted to profit off of your inventions. You'd be the first one that ever did that, huh? Don't do that to yourself. Wow, well, look at this thing. Man, what is this thing? A robot? It's a battery. It's not supposed to be in there. Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh, my God. 20 grand. Give and take. Do we get to keep that? Paul, it wasn't even really your father's son. That's the best motive we've seen from her yet. Right there. Damn, why didn't y'all check the damn... <laughs> why didn't y'all check? That would piss me off. Big police getting all the glory for that big Rico case? What the hell? Relax, okay? It's that political. sucks. Came down way far above my head, right? Don't you lie to me, big man. I'm your friend. That sucks that he missed out on that because of his freaking brother. I know where this came from, and it wasn't from on high. Be Agent Booth's brother. Yeah, I'm Jared. You FBI? FBI. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lance Sweets. I know it since of you as a kid. I have the same problem with Booth. There's nothing worse than somebody who always thinks they're right. And then they're right. <laughs> right. It's a pleasure, Agent Sweets. Doctor. <laughs> Jim Stegman was shot four times. Middle of the foot, middle of the knee, middle of the shoulder. Oh. Dead center on the heart. Oh, small caliber that's you very. This was done on purpose. Yes, yeah. torture. Well done. You go in there. I'll be. <laughs> I'm on parole. He's in from Lost. Wall Street. I got an alibi anyway. I didn't tell you when they died. <laughs> Tracking device. Somebody somewhere knows where I am. Twenty-four hours a day since I got out for the next two years. Nice. It's not always about credit. Well, that's not what you said before. You said life was all about credit, and you're going to Hawaii, and they're going to put you on a coin. Oh, you know what? Let's just forget about it, okay, Bones? Forget about it. Jared warned me that you tend to sabotage yourself. Jared said that. Mm -hmm. He said that you're afraid of success. Mm. So basically, I'm a loser. No, he never said the word loser. <laughs> Do you think I'm a loser? You're not answering the question, Bones. Answer my question. Booth. Your forensic text got an ID for the fingerprint on the money bag. Is it Stegman or Pungetti? Stegman, but not the one you're thinking of. The son? No. Nope. The oh. wife. Oh. The fingerprint belongs to Lily Stegman. Oh. Are you mad because you think she slept with him? Or is it that and that you had to cover for your brother and you lost out on that? I thought he was Paul's father. I would never hurt him. We found your fingerprints on the money. Can you explain that? I'm ashamed. <laughs> well, whatever you're ashamed of, believe me, murder is worse. I'm ashamed. When he <laughs> back, I started to think he meant for us to open it. Plus, we have a family to take care of. We do whatever we can for family. I opened Ooh. it. It was full of cash. Jim, do me a big favor. Hold on to this until I can get it back from you. Help yourself to whatever you need. Oh. When you came, I should have told you. Wait, wouldn't he? You needed the money. And in a way, you felt like you earned it for taking that old man in. Could just be protecting him. I am. By not letting him know about the money you found. Yeah. Or the... That's annoying. Rest of it? Unless you're... The rest what? There's more? Yes, I put it into our safety deposit box. $150,000. So you had... He gave y'all... <laughs> $170,000? Stegman, he's about to go visit his son. How did you put $150,000 out of nowhere into your bank, to your account? Pretend money out of nowhere? I don't want you to think this is an intervention. I don't know what that means. An intervention is when a group of loved ones bands together to help one of their own make a difficult decision. Oh, then, then it is an intervention. <laughs> Are you my loved ones? Booth shouldn't be threatened by the fact that his brother is more successful. 
I am absolutely certain that however it is, Booth lost all the credit for that Rico bust. It's because of Jared. We're all scientists here, right? Well, not you. What is your evidence about this? The last time I told Booth that I thought of Jared, he didn't speak to me for six months. Evidence. I am comfortable with evidence. Okay, here's some evidence. The bullets that killed both Stegman and Pongetti were fired from the same gun. Which suggests they were killed by the same person. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That y'all did nothing. Y'all accomplished nothing. Bruh. Do you know anything about Booth losing credit on the Rico case? No. What? I mean, that's the first I've heard of it. Tempe. You took advantage of him. You know, you made me think that he's a loser. And what really makes me angry is that I believed you. Yeah, I wouldn't blame Booth if he never spoke to me again. You're the loser. Well done. I mean, you should have cited... <laughs> You shouldn't have never even right. considered him. <laughs> Agents recovered the rest of the cash from Lily Stegman's safety deposit box, right? The bills were bundled with evidence bands. What does that mean? Well, the money is from the county sheriff's headquarters in Bowie. It was confiscated during a drug bus. Oh, it was the drug money. It was he was in custody there. How come no one recognized him? What? It's a logical question. Uh, yeah, well, no, that's, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Let that big sheriff know that we found $20,000 at Stigman's house. Why is it bad? Because if it was in it with Pungetti, then he thinks he knows where the rest of the money is. Thinks. Oh, shit. Oh, that's big. Why don't you just come with us now? Damn, you got a shotgun? Wow, that's huge. Dude, why do you have a shotgun? You're gonna get in your vehicle and drive away. I'm going to do the same thing, and everybody lives, and everybody's happy. Well, that sounds like a good idea. No, not a good idea. Oh! Oh, oh God! Oh, oh he okay? Oh, he shot her? shines a light on himself. He shines it on other people. Yeah, right after I conked him on the head with it. <laughs> Anthropology teaches us that the alpha male is the man wearing the crown. But I now think that anthropology may have it wrong. <laughs> I'm working with Booth. I've come to realize that the quiet man, the invisible man, the man who is always there for friends and family. That's the real alpha man. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks, brother. Not after I got you shot. You didn't get me shot. I got me shot. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about my brother. Uh -huh. Would you prefer sweets to him? <laughs> Well, I forgot all the psychological stuff, but basically, now you're angry. Come on, Bones, you have to make getting a psychological lesson from you is like getting an anthropology lesson from you. The Rico case. She's so awkward. I traded my I one shot it. of glory to keep my brother from being arrested. What if he kills someone next time? He shouldn't have done that. Right. So it's the woman who got her father. Off murder charges. Ooh. You're totally right. No, I'm not. What? Why? <clears throat> There's no risk that your father will kill again. What? Jerry, I gotta stop what? The drinking. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you.
Mm. That's... Not okay. Bronson, I just need some time. Do you need time and space? <laughs> just some time. <laughs> There's a lot of information on him that we didn't previously have. That's a big episode. Solid episode. Um, yeah, that's... Sometimes you need to allow loved ones to fail so they thrive, you know? There's only so many times you can help and do stuff like that. And to an extent, you probably shouldn't keep doing it. Um, or you shouldn't do it to begin with. Um, the biggest lessons on, on life is failing and screwing up and finding the the lesson in that you know he should have been arrested he should have lost everything he he had and that's his fault that's a lesson learned don't take things for granted you know can be gone in an instant. Everything. Anyways, like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I shall see y'all next time.